What's going on guys, it's your boy Evan Omega back with another video. Today we're going to be reacting to the Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village, the new trailer that dropped just a few days ago. I haven't seen it yet. I'm very excited for this game, however. So, uh, yeah. Let's just dive right into it. Hey now, think positively, alright? We talked about this. So that's Mia, right? I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Capcom. I'm so fucking excited for this game. Still don't know what it is, what it's about though. <laughs> so that's kind of a mystery we're gonna have to so. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. She's kind of hot, though. Yes, of course. <laughs> She's a vampire. The of the ceremony. I won't let you down. <laughs> Oh no, what happened? Can someone please tell me Teacher. what the hell is going on here? No. My dog just the place is full of nothing but noise. blood and death. That's kind of creepy. Vampires? Flies, vampires, tall women. No, they're they are vampires, right? Those are not flies but bats. That's Chris Redwood. Well, well, Ethan Winters. There you are. <laughs> Resident Evil Village, holy shit. That just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Alright, anything else gonna pop up? Who the up? fuck are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> May 7th, 2021. <laughs> Pre-order now. All right, that gave me goosebumps. So I think what we saw, if we go over here, I think this must be the opening scene. Hey, no. Um, this must be the beginning of the game. We talked about this. So that's Mia, the the girl hey, from no. last game you had to save, or you choose Zoe. Hold up, I'll be right back. That girl is Mia. So that's the girl you had to save from the last game. Um, I think. Um, I'm not going to spoil too much of the story from the last game because I actually plan on playing it before playing Resident Evil 8 because that ties in directly with this game. So this is the village right here. You can kind of see the setting in the mountains. Uh, this gives me some Outlast 2 vibes because it was also in some kind of a village. If I move myself over, you can see the castle next to me. Um, that is, I think, where the the vampire queen lives or whatever. I think she's a vampire though because she's very tall and white. <clears throat> and she has people who turn into bats or whatever. Then if we go a little bit further. Yeah, you can see more of the castle. So yeah, this is the, the main corridor of the castle I think. This is... Um, if you've seen the demo, this is where the demo takes place. That's what I think, at least. So this is where you meet the tall lady and and stuff like that. So I don't know. You can hear a voice speaking to you and stuff like that, laughing hysterically. Because he is in my castle and has already proven 
Yeah. All right, so what I can get from this is that she's calling with her mother, of course, she says that. So I think her mother might be the final boss of the game, or she might be the final boss of the game. Um, and they need us alive for ceremo ceremony, so that might involve something with vampires or drinking our blood or whatever, because this game definitely has vampires in it, um, but I think... Whatever, Resident Evil, like, knowing Resident Evil, this girl's probably also going to be a boss. Her boobs are going to be eyeballs that you have to shoot in the final boss. And her head's going to split open like a s giant spider arms coming out or whatever. Just, that's my knowledge from Resident Evil. So, um, yeah. So that's what I can get from this. That she wants to kill us, but she needs us for a ceremony. And she doesn't want to let down her mother. So that might be the final boss of the game. So it's made by within the re engine game engine oh yeah this is also um a place where you spend the demo you come right down these stairs that's where the lady comes in the lady that turns into bats so the vampire lady i'm gonna just call her a vampire lady you got some stuff up here too some more quarters some night armor this really gives me like i don't know i like this aesthetic it's really Creepy but beautiful at the same time. Yeah, so this. I don't know. Looks like they're fighting each other, but I think this might be a door to somewhere because you can see kind of an outline right here. So I think that might be a door to something. Um, yeah. You got a couple of scarecrows up here, more to more of the castle visible right here with some like barbed wires or whatever some corridors torture chamber of course and I think these are the weaker enemies of the game so I don't know it looks like they're zombies but they also kind of look like vampires with the with the sharp teeth and stuff like that and it looks like Ethan is about to pop some down. Yeah, one, two, three, four of them. Looks like zombies though. But with like, scratchy scratch. So yeah, that's the lady. I think those are bats. I don't know. They look like flies as well. I don't know, hold up. Hold up. You see, those look like flies or, or mosquitoes or whatever. I don't know dining table there's a tall lady with her one two three sisters to maybe those will play a part maybe those will be mini boss fights you have to take each one of them down before taking her down I don't know she's really tall so and I don't know kind of hot though so yeah that kind of she love that so yeah I think they're kind of preparing us for something ceremony could be anything um, got a creepy statue here with what looks like two people, two naked women doing a ceremony on someone else, or carving a knife or carving something into the person's back with a knife. Oh yeah, these are, I don't know, are these bats? I don't think they're bats. I, I think they're like flies or mosquitoes or moths, but yeah. She has a like a scythe or sith, I don't know what to call it. They got this creepy door. I saw this in the demo. Uh, hold up. You need to put an eye, an eye socket in there, so or like an, like a pupil or whatever. So, I know that's what we need to do when the full game releases. Yeah, you see more of the castle up here. Uh, what the fuck are those dragons? Dragons, vampires, werewolves. <laughs> so yeah, that's Chris Redwood. He was the... Is that our baby? Did we make a baby with Mia? 
And that's Chris Redwood, I think. That's the dude. Um, I'm not gonna. He's been in previous Resident Evil games before. He's got bandits with him, so I don't know. Maybe he's a bad guy. He wasn't a bad guy in the previous game, so I don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, I, I think that's our baby. Got a chamber. She's coming to a tiny door. There's one of the creepy ladies again. Wanting to eat us. Title reveal card and then towards the end. The fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? That's this mysterious creature who I think is a vampire killer who you might be teaming up with in the game. Because he's he's got this big ass fucking hammer or whatever and he's kind of dressed like a vampire killer maybe that's just my imagination um but i think that's someone you might be teaming up with and then may 7th 2021 21 yeah you can pre-order it on ps5 ps4 series x series s xbox one and steam i'm definitely gonna play this game on a channel along with resident evil 7 before this game comes out um but yeah this was my reaction to the trailer for resident evil village i want to thank you guys so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next episode i mean video episode whatever i'll see y'all next video peace out